welfare check leads to the discovery of a drug lab in Oildale. Neighbors forced out of their homes as deputies move in. Investigators asked to check out a child inside that home. They go inside. Instead, they find a drug lab. In 23 ABC's Laura Acevedo live with what deputies found there and how neighbors are feeling about it tonight. Laura? Tim and Jackie, neighbors in the area say they started to smell weird chemicals in the neighborhood about two months ago. They say they were shocked to find out it was a drug lab that contained possibly explosive and dangerous materials. A drug lab discovered in the middle of a neighborhood in Oildale. Very scary. I didn't know what was really going on. Kern County Sheriff's deputies say they were called out today to check on a child inside this home on Highland Drive near McCray. Deputies tell us the child wasn't home, but they found this an elaborate drug operation. It's a very large, sophisticated lab, and uh, there's there's actually two rooms full of equipment. Sheriff's deputies wouldn't comment on the child or if they were harmed because of the lab. Moments after the raid, sheriffs provided these pictures to 23ABC. A spokesman with KCSO says this is a butane honey oil lab. It's built to extract pure THC from marijuana, also known as hash oil. It's been described to me by narcotics investigators who see these labs from time to time as being an, a, a, a larger than average lab and, and very sophisticated lab. One neighbor who did not want to go on camera believes a family lives inside this home. I know the people that live there, but I didn't think they would be capable to do something like this. She says she sensed something wasn't right several months ago. It smells like a harsh, like chemical, like someone's burning chemicals and smoking marijuana at the same time. Another neighbor says he had no idea a drug operation was happening right across the street. I was shocked. I honestly didn't think anything like this could happen around here, especially in a populated area where there's a bunch of houses and cops riding by all the time. KCSO says three people found at the home are being interviewed tonight, but so far no arrests have been made. Reporting live from KCSO headquarters, Laura Acevedo, 23ABC.